welcome back to sweet and spicy sims it's your girl lo and we are back with a new episode of growing pains this time we back with penny y'all i have not played with penny in a long time okay but we are back with her and she is currently on the phone talking to her mother um her mom was just called because her dad just passed away um, from a heart attack so she is calling penny to let her know the news um so yeah we just gonna jump right into it y'all know how i do it we just gonna get right on into it i think she was watching tv at the time yeah so she you know talking to her mama and her mama like you know um your grandfather he just passed away um mom had went to make the funeral arrangements and stuff like that so that's about to be prepared and ready and stuff and I don't know what we gonna do because mom is down bad and she not gonna be able to take care of her little farm. So her mama lives in Hinford on Bagley. Is it Hinford on Bagley, child? I always say that wrong. But her mama live on Hinford on Bagley because y'all know that Penny was from the country or whatever and she came to the city to start her career in fashion. Remember she was working for Shein and then that job fell through or whatever um so then she got another job i think she still has the second job right yeah so fashion fledging where she goes in and like um you know styles people and stuff like that she not really getting paid all that much she getting 15 dollars an hour she um is having a hard time getting promoted which i mean we might get promoted the next time she gotta go to work but who knows child who knows um her love life has just been tanking and everything like that because remember she was in love with freaking simon simon turned out to have a whole husband i didn't know she was in love with the landlord but in, at any rate sam is married too sam when you get oh okay sam is married too so like girl and then she had a blind date see this is her grandfather right here this stan the stan uh, monroe that's him right there y'all and that's her grandmama right there and then this is her mama sydney um she went on a date with somebody but i don't even see him here so i don't even think that worked out child because he not even listed here so her love life is just tanking her job ain't where she want to be she thought she was going to be you know like styling big name celebrities and stuff like that like penny had like this wild imagination and she was just going to come to the city and it was just going to be like boom 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 and that ain't it like you gotta work to get where you want to get but she ain't really got all that much money she got uh no she don't she don't got seven thousand dollars she has <laughs> that's not how much money she got y'all i think what i don't something happened i did something i don't remember what i did but i think whatever i did caused her to get that money um shoot i think she had like three thousand something i don't even think she had that much but that's what i'm going to do it i know she ain't have seven thousand um she got three thousand dollars in her her bank account right now i don't think she has a separate account but let me just make sure because like i said i have not played with penny in a minute so i don't know child do she got money in a bank account nope she don't even have no bank account so she don't have no savings that's all she got three thousand dollars she gotta pay rent um she gotta pay other in light bill cable bill all that stuff child Shh. listen and she making 15 dollars an hour it's just not you know doing what it's supposed to do for penny and penny isn't just not happy she's just not all that happy um but now she done got the news that her grandfather done passed away so she gonna have to go meet her mama and then they gonna have to go over to the grandma's house let me just make sure she got a passport i'm not a passport she shouldn't need a passport because it's not a vacation trip she need a bus a uh, subway pass so we're going to get her a subway pass so she can go meet her mama. But it's not technically, we're going to call it like the Greyhound or something, child, because she got to go all the way to Hanford or Bagley and she is currently in the city. So, you know, ain't no subway traveling that far. But she is going to travel 
two. Yeah, she's just gonna go to her mama house and then she's gonna pick her mama up and then they gonna go to grandma house because grandma they on bed, y'all. All right, so like I said, she at her mama's house. This is where her mother lives on Hanford on Bagley. Hanford, whatever, y'all. Y'all know what it's called, the country. Um, <laughs> this is where her mama lives. Um, this is EA's stock house. I didn't do nothing to it. I wanna say I changed. Oh, no, I did change the doors and I changed something else, but I don't remember what else I changed. All her mama got is some chickens on the farm. Her mom is not really into like farming, farming, but you know, she was raised on a farm with her mom and stuff, but she didn't really want like cows and all that other good stuff. So she just really wanted some chickens. Um, So yeah, so she like, come on in, baby, come on in. Yeah, all I changed was like the couch and the bed that was in here because it was like a twin bed or something and then penny gonna stay tonight then she need more than a twin bed uh, because she is not a little child but anyway she like hey baby it's good to see you i ain't seen you in a while she like yeah ma see this is what i've been doing in the city she like oh okay okay that's real good baby that's real good well you know we can chat on the road because we gotta head on down to chestnut ridge to see um your grandma she like, yeah, can't believe um, granddad passed. She like, I know, I know. She like, well, mama, how you doing? You doing okay? I mean, that was your daddy. Um, I don't know if she can. Because I think, like, the mama got to tell her about, like, Sydney's mom got to tell her about the death before they can, um really like reminisce about the death and stuff like that y'all she like yeah did she have the llamas and stuff mama did she have all that on the farm she like no i think she just got the cows baby i don't think she had nothing to do with that and i think they got a horse or something i don't know i don't know but listen we gotta just go there we gotta help her because you know she got kidney disease you know she ain't doing good and then couple days ago she fell and hurt her damn hip so we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go so they finna go on a travel to grandma house i told y'all grandma down bad y'all grandma down bad um uh, we gonna go with sydney and we gonna go on to grandma house that is raining here too all right y'all so we are at chestnut ridge and i am shocked that i actually named it right um, but yeah, we are at Chestnut Ridge on Grandmom's farm. So she has two cows and a horse. She doesn't have any chickens or anything like that. Um, she does garden, so she planted like a few things here. Um, she was married, but now she is widowed. And we are finna go over here and knock on her door. This is her little area here. Um, this is her horsey dipsy doodle, I think. I think it's Dipsy Doodle. Ain't this the horse? Oh, she don't know the horse, so we don't know the name of the horse. All right, so we gotta get. Well, why I click on them and I can. Okay, so the horse's name is Dipsy Doodle. I love Dipsy Doodle chips. So that was the horse's name when Grandma brought the horse. So I just kept it the same. So, um, not you gonna come over here and check on the horse first. I guess she said she gonna help Mama out. Oh, she gonna get the poop up. Oh, ain't she sweet? She like, Grandma? Grandma? Grandma over here funky. Oh, my God. Y'all, now she in the couch position. Some of these out. She's over here suffocating. Uh, she like, Grandma? Wake Grandma up. Grandma is funky. We got to help her get a shower. She like, Grandma? Grandma? Grandma, you okay? You going to wake up? Oh my God, please don't let Patricia be. Oh, child, I was so <laughs> hold up. That was not the plan. <laughs> oh my God. Child, I was like, oh my God. Is that, was that the. Child, grandma had scared me for a second. Um, Can she ask? Okay, see, there go the bereavement right there. Okay, so she can ask about Grandpa. Yeah, no. She like, hey, she like, hey, grandbaby, how you doing? She like, yeah, I'm sorry to hear about granddad. She like, I know. Aww. She like, I can't believe he gone. She like, yeah, grandma, you do stink a little bit. 
But uh, you know, Mama here, Mama outside. I think she was raking up the. Uh, oops, what the hell? She was raking up the manure or whatever. So um, she's just helping out with the farm a little bit because she says you need help, Grandma. Like, how's your kidneys and stuff? She like, well, I go to dialysis every few days and stuff like that. So they, you, you know, they taking care of that. Um, um, uh, 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 Penny. She like, mm-hmm, Grandma, this is Penny. She like, yeah, yeah, I know your name, girl. I, I know your name. She like, well, you want me to help you get in the shower, Grandma, and stuff? She, I, I know how to get in the in the damn shower, Penny. I ain't that old. All right, so we going to control Grandma. <laughs> You know, some grandmas maybe so they be funny. Old people be funny to me. Um, but anyway, was that it that we could do for bereavement? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, maybe it, I can do a little bit more. She's like, yeah, grandma, because you need to get get off this couch. I hope that ain't where you've been sleeping at on this couch. She said, well, sometimes I can't make it to the bed, baby. All right, she gonna take a shower. Maybe she's going to take a shower on her own. Let me... Uh, no, she's going to the mirror, child. Grandma, I thought she was finna get in the shower. Let me control her. Oh, uh, she was trying to give herself a pep talk. But no, you need a shower, baby. So this is just some of her uh, moolahs. Lost in a family from mourning a partner. It's hard to see those closest to us pass away. Patricia can find some solace. By morning at a tombstone or urn. Um, let me see. The death of a loved one affects those closest to them. Sims can mourn at a tombstone to feel more at peace. She is a widow. What is going on? Drowning in denial for mourning a partner. Patricia doesn't believe this. It's not real. It just can't be. No, no, no. So she's saying that. I'm closely connected. So I guess that's from uh, Penny coming to see her hair. My hair on fleek. Uh, handiness, she's handy. Recent dialysis treatment. Patricia has completed a dialysis treatment and will need to go back for another one in a couple days. So her next dialysis treatment needed in two days. All right. So she'll definitely need to get that because she has kidney disease and she's dirty. Her house is a little dusty and she was revitalized by a nap. All right, bet. So she can come in here and take her a shower. Go ahead. Don't be in that mirror. And then I'm actually going to control. Are you done? Look, she got her cowboy boots on everything. Yo, look at look at Sydney. <laughs> I told you Sydney grew up on a farm. So she like, let me get out here and help my mama. All right, control her. All right, now what was you doing? Uncomfortably wet. Well, girl, get in the house. Animal bonding. Deep connection, and she wants to travel. Well, you travel to your mama house. All right. Okay. So she's going to come in here and talk to Penny. Penny, where you go? Penny? Penny, why are you in the rain, baby? Get in here. Carry umbrella, plate, and no. Sit your happy behind down. Sydney and Penny. Go ahead and sit down. Please and thank you. Oh, Grandma, crops is growing. Okay, Grandma. Her crops is growing. I mean, I wanted y'all to sit in the living room, but whatever, y'all. All right, so she like, um, my grandma was in here. She was funky, and she was sleep on the couch. She was like, what? She was sleep on the couch. She said, yeah, I think she, you know, she real sad. She said she, sometimes she can't make it to the the bed or whatever like i don't know what's this about she's like oh my god i cannot i told you her dialysis and then her hip i told you that but she want to stay here by herself she like yeah but my she just lost her husband and stuff over 50 years like give cut her off some slack she like but she cannot take care of this farm by herself she like, well, is you want to come move in with her? She like, girl, now you know I got my own job. I got my own chickens. I can't bring them chickens here. I cannot move in here. Like, what, what is you doing in the city? What well, I heard you said that job wasn't really paying you nothing. You should just move here and help your grandma. 
She like, what? My, I ain't been on the farm in like a year. She say, girl, listen, once you've been on the farm, you've been on the farm, okay? She like, I write fashion blogs and stuff. I don't know nothing about that. She like, listen, your grandma needs some help. We need to help her. Uh, where is she going? Why do y'all want to play in this rain, child? Play in, no, we are not playing in the rain. Nana, sit down, please. <laughs> sit. Sit your behind down somewhere. No. Then you're going to get all wet and then you're going to be uncomfortable. She like, mom, get, your bu get in here. It is raining out there. She like, I know it's raining. I just wanted to go outside and get some fresh air. Sydney, don't come in here with your mess. I heard you talking about wanting to put me in a home. I am not going to no nursing home. I am perfectly fine here by myself. Alright, well, whatever. Whatever. She did have a limp early. I guess the pain medication, because I think I gave her pain medication. I think the pain medication helps. I'm going to give her some more. Alright. She like, Ma, you can't be sending her to no nursing home or nothing like that. Like, if Grandma don't want to go to nursing home, she don't want to go to no nursing home. But then somebody got to be here to take help take care of her penny, and that's not going to be me, Okay. Look at her. She's just sitting here, just listening. I cannot. This is crazy. Y'all talking about the lady like she ain't? Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Now, Sydney and Penny have a difficult family dynamic. Because mm, some Sims just can't seem to get along. With each new conversation, interaction having the potential to turn unpleasant is certainly looking that way between Sydney and penny because penny don't want her grandmom going into a nursing home and sydney is like well i cannot come i cannot move here right now and help take care of her you are the only because penny is the only child so she like you are the only person that can actually move here and help her like you told me nothing is going right with your jobs and stuff like that so what's the problem like move here so I, that's why I said yes. They got difficult because they're not seeing eye to eye on this decision. And um, grandma is going to. Grandma is just she is just looking so sad. I cannot. I cannot with grandma. She gonna complain about the cost of the funeral. She like, well, you not know, talk to the funeral director, and they was telling me it was gonna cost such and such amount and all this other stuff, and I just don't know. I don't got that kind of money, you know. She like, okay, Grandma, well, I can help you. And Sydney like, well, Mom, you know I got money. I can help you out with some money now. Uh, Sydney don't have that much money. She is not a rich child. But um, she can definitely give her some money. All right, ask her some money. And she like, all right, because that's how I raised you now. You know, help take care of me. And I'm definitely not that money that you... Talking about using for a nursing home, you can just go on and give me that. Oh, no, she ain't got it right now. And why is Monica calling us? Girl, now is not the time. She like, I don't even live in your area, baby. Get off my goddamn phone. She like, what? you just said you had the money, Sydney. Now you don't have the money. What are you talking about? I don't understand it. What? Oh, my God. I thought to bury my husband. Okay. I think I done changed her voice 15 times, y'all. But uh, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get one down. I can't believe she told her she ain't had no money. Ask her. She like, I, you just said you had the money, Sydney. Now you're telling me you don't have the money. She like, what are you talking about? Y'all, just a side note. I love this sit mod. Hey, did you see? Have you not noticed that they have not gotten up and walked around and played musical chairs? Like, I freaking love this stay seated by y'all i can't remember who y'all know my memory um uh, blame my memory not my heart um but it'll be on the screen who um this mod is by so y'all can go ahead and download it yourselves because i love it okay i l-o-v-e it okay but let's get back to the schedule programming okay so she is like Please, I'm just begging you, please, Sydney. I just need a little extra money for this funeral. Your daddy was here. He will you you know he what he will say. Like I cannot believe you telling me no right now, Sydney. This don't make no goddamn sense. 
She like, well, mama, I just don't have it right now. I got to pay all this um, taxes and stuff on the farm and stuff like that. You know, I just don't have it. Oof, child. I don't think Sydney and her mama get along too well. This is rough. Maybe she was a daddy's girl. I don't know, child. I do not know. But I know Sydney finna get on my nerves with it. Um, She finna cuss her out a little bit. But, you know, she she she's still trying to talk to her, her granddaughter. So, um, they going to discuss the deceit, the, mm, the seeds, deceased. She like, yeah, I remember when granddad had took me to, um, to the fair and stuff. And, you know, he was so loving. I remember that, grandma. She like, ma, I can't believe you trying, you trying, you're not trying to help your mother out. Like, what in the world? She like, well, if you got the money, you you give it to her. Because I ain't got the money right now. I got to pay $20,000 on the taxes on the farm. I just ain't got it. Penny, where you going? Penny, where you going? Clean the shelter. She's like, I just don't have it right now, ma. I told you, I just don't have it. All right, she looked. Penny was like, I just need to get out of this conversation. I just can't. Oh, and grandma also deaf. You see, she got a hearing aid. You are my only child, see? Difficult for him. I told you. I knew that I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I am your only family. You are my only child. You can't even help me out in this situation. She like, Mom, Penny will be here to help you out, okay? I told you. Uh, Penny, why do you keep materializing? If you don't sit down somewhere, sit. She like, I cannot believe you. I cannot believe you. Penny like, all right, Grandma. All right, Grandma, 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 calm down. Grandma, calm down. I don't want to see you getting this upset. You know your blood pressure is you on a borderline, a high blood pressure. I just don't want you to be getting all upset like this. You know what? I'll move here. I'll move here, okay? I will move here and help take care of you and the farm and stuff like that. You ain't got to worry about no money. I will get a, a little jobby job or something that I could do from home or whatever and help you out. Like, you ain't got to worry about it, Grandma. I got you. Ma, like, I love you and all, but you you, you making the situation worse. All right, so she is just going to deep thought. Oh, not the request permission for nursing home a mission. You thinking about... Oh. Penny, you was thinking about it too? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy, child. She gonna console him all the time. <laughs> Grandma probably should go into a nursing home, but I don't think Penny really wanna send her there. But I think she was just like, you know, um Oh, can she ask about her grandfather? I think she was just maybe like thinking about it, but not, she don't really want to, you know, send her there. Oh, they look just alike. They so cute. She like, yeah, he was my heart. I am so in love with Stan. Oh, grandma, give her a hug. Penny, give her a hug. Give grandma a hug. She going through it. Oh. She like, I love you, Grandma. I love you. She like, I love you too, baby. I love you too. She like, all right, Grandma. I'm going to move in, help you get to your dialysis appointments and stuff like that, help you around the farm. Um, Yeah, we, but we're going to have to hire somebody, Grandma, because I'm not good with the animals and stuff like that. So we're going to have to hire a little, a little somebody or something. She like, yeah, they got these little ranch hands around here and stuff. So we can go ahead and hire one of them, baby, if that's what, that's what we need to do. So Penny like, all right, Grandma, well, what, what's going on in the community? Like, how is the people around here? She like the people is real friendly. You might meet you a little a little man girl have me some um great grandkids or something. You know you know what I mean now, listen. Alright, she like you can find out additional information, baby, on the um community board. I think it's some single man out there for you. She like, alright, alright, grandma. Alright. So she gonna ask to join the household. Look at her. Look at her. So Penny is all moved in with her grandma. We went and got all her stuff. Um, she is waiting for her shipment and stuff 
her furniture and all that other stuff to get here. But in the meantime, in between time, she has moved in. She said, Granny, I need to call my landlord, Sam, and tell him that I have moved out of the apartment. So she is going to go ahead and call Sam because apparently they got some little um, kind of friendship. So she is going to go ahead and chat with Sammy boy. Like, I really don't see the guy that she was talking to. Was it him, Trayvon? But they don't got no love. The other guy, she had kissed and everything. Where is Sam? Oh, there goes Sam. So she going to call Sam up and let him know that, you know, she moving out. She moved in and with her grandma. He just let, she just letting him know, like, what's going on and why she had to move out all of a sudden. But she will be paying her last month's rent or whatever, whatever. She like my grandbaby that moved in here with me. Oh my god! Oh my god! I am so happy. She like see Sydney. You wouldn't do nothing like that for me. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add Sydney to the family. Only reason why I'm adding Sydney to the family is so they can all go to the funeral together because apparently, um, Patricia. When I pop up funeral, it only picks like Patricia. So I don't child i don't know what's going on um but we are going to add her to the family hopefully it don't make her homeless because every time i add a sim to the family when i go to remove them from the family they like lose their house and everything so that's one of the main reasons why i just put um all of penny stuff into her inventory that we want her to keep and stuff like that because I was just going to add her to the family, but I didn't want her to lose the apartment and then we lose our stuff and child, it just be a whole headache. So yeah. So she is just moving in with her grandma right now. So <laughs> she moving in. Let me go ahead and save just to make sure everything is good. Um, Sydney, what's wrong with you? She like, I want to live here. <laughs> Sydney is temporary, baby. It's temporary. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be mad. All right, and then let me go ahead and hit on Patricia. Patricia is tired. Um, so I think like tomorrow morning they're gonna go to the funeral. Um, Patricia is very tired. That um kidney disease be wearing her out, and then she also has arthritis. Um, let me see if anything new popped up. Closely connected from close family dynamic. Patricia really cherishes her close family connection. Spending time with such a close family member is always heartwarming. Also, she's happy that Penny's um, living with her. Nicely decorated. So kind. A friend just told Patricia that they're grateful to have. Their oh, that's so sweet. Uh, not feeling flirty. Girl. Patricia's not sure. What has her feeling all flirty all of a sudden? Neither am I, girl. What? Some of them, girl. Some of them. And we saw all that. All right. So what's going on with her? Because she said, hurt feelings. Why do you say so? Why you just can't appreciate me the way I am? Because, like, your mama asked you for some money and you all like, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I got this. I got that. But you know, like, she got to pay for this funeral and stuff. Like, that's crazy. Um, I think the grandma had money. Grandma must have had a little stash, child. So, Grandma ain't broke, but <laughs> she ain't rich either. Um, And then they got another horse on the way because she ordered another horse and they, it's on the way. So, that's going to be another mouth to feed. This is going to be a lot. Um, But I'm going to go ahead and have Patricia go ahead and go to sleep. It is 3.34. I'm just going to have her go ahead and take her a little nappy nap on the in the bed. Um, Sydney, what you finna do? Clean. Okay, girl, do you. And Penny, what you finna do? Oh, y'all both about to clean it, but no, Penny, I need you to come in here and whip something up, though. Because y'all finna be hungry, and I need you to cook. And you are level 10 cooking, so I know you finna whip it up. All right, see, I knew she was finna whip it up. You want to make some butter chicken? Um, steak tartare. Mm, not steak tartare. Wait a minute. Why is the taco casserole $156? What the? 
uh, let's make a little Italian. Why is this stuff so high? Let's make some Italian meatballs. Go in there and cook. I don't want you out here. I want you inside, please. And thank you. All right. Okay, good. She up here cleaning. All right, okay. She is so sad, child. From being told she a disappointment. That's crazy. And mama asked you for some help. And you ain't help her. I don't know what you expected. She like, what? Hey, Dipsy. How you doing? Oh, what's going on, Dipsy? All right. Do that. Let's milk the cows. For mama. Because mama ain't been out here to do nothing, child. She, I think she already collected the manure. Right. Did she have manure in her pocket? Or am I tripping? Sims will now be able to discuss secret lives of animals with Dipsy Doodle. Oh, somebody has some manure in their pocket. Okay, so she got this in her pocket. Granny, why you got that in your pocket? Put that down. You clean this up. Don't you step. Don't you step on it. Okay. Throw away. All right, so she know how to make milk. Oh, we got six bottles of milk. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Belle. Bring it in the money. Bring it in the money. What's going on? Oh, I'm glad. Look at them. Y'all, they just stepping up to the test. Okay, and she got six bottles of milk from her. Now, Trixie is young and Belle is the elder. So, she done had Belle for a minute. So, Belle been on the phone for a long time. What's wrong? Oh, from her mama. Ooh. Well, she went back inside, Penny. She went back inside, baby. She went back inside. Uh, Mama, you got the milk, right? So go ahead and put that in the fridge. Y'all are all going to sit down as soon as Granny wake up and have y'all some dinner. I don't know where everybody finna sleep. It's a couch right here. And then this, look, this the guest room, child. And look at all this mess in the guest room. Look, look at the, look at the guest room. <laughs> Look, look at the guest room. Y'all see the guest room. Look, look, look at the guest room, y'all. Oh. Look at the freaking guest room. The Penny, like, this is my room. Oh, my God. I had a whole apartment. Now I am in this room. Look at that. Child, a mess. And she, then I just said, what Penny finna do on a thing on twin bed? And that's what she gonna be sleeping in. All right. Where did, where'd she go? Oh, not bitter. Y'all, she is mad. Bitter, uncontrolled from morning, a partner. Life feels so different. Everything feels out of Patricia's control. And she hates that feeling of being helpless. Oh. What was I doing from unknown condition? Patricia feels so distracted and focused. What was she just doing? What was that thought? Oh my goodness. What is going on? Don't tell me she got the dementia. Now I say all y'all was going, girl, that ain't your bitch. Oh, she crying. Oh my God, girl. She doing all this crying because her mama. That's crazy. But she wasn't doing all that crying for her daddy and then your mama asked you for some money and you weren't even doing all that. Sydney is a mess. I see why uh, Penny moved to the damn city. Get away from her. Alright. Y'all can talk or something. Y'all ain't gonna talk. Y'all just gonna be quiet. Oh my. This is very tense. Look, I'm surprised Granny didn't take her hearing aid out. She's like, this is real good, baby. This is real good. My granddaughter sure do know how to cook. She's like, I guess I'll eat my meatball. She's so sad. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, she is so sad. Girl, why are you brushing your teeth? I need a mod that disables teeth brushing in the kitchen sink. Because just why? Um, I cannot. I cannot. Right, what's going on with you? Um, oh, shoot. I forgot she was lactose intolerant, but she ain't 
eat or drink nothing. Okay, so she good. She good to go. All right, all right. So she not real tired. Her bladder good. Okay, 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 okay. We we doing good. We doing good. Um, Sydney is okay. And then Patricia, she needs some sleep. Sleep. Did she ever take her? Cause she do got arthritis. Okay. So she did take her pain medication because y'all, she got the author. She got the author. So she did take that. Uh, I did decorate this house. Now this house was already here. This came with the pack, this house right here, but, um, uh, it was kind of set up a different way. Like it was like, like an open area. He, it was weirdly shaped so i did move some stuff around made this a room and put the kitchen here and stuff like that so i did decorate the house um i can decorate child but i cannot build <laughs> so i did not build this house i did put the i did put the wall here though i did put the wall here and remove the wall here so that's about as far as my building goes um but yeah this is where Penny will be living, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Hopefully, we can like expand this or something, or because uh, they mm, listen. She basically living at her grandma's walk-in closet, <laughs> and this bathroom is so small. But she used to the small bathroom because in her apartment, her bathroom was small too. But yeah, like all this closet stuff, and then. She ain't going to be able to put her stuff in here. Ain't no room for it. So maybe we'll be able to get some money and expand this um, wall out. She will have to pay the bills or help Granny pay the bills. We'll help, have to help Granny pay for like her uh, medical treatments and stuff because dialysis treatments is not cheap. So she'll definitely have to help with that. Um, the animals, the gardening and stuff like Nana can still do a lot of stuff, but she old, she got the author. She can't do as much as, you know, she would if she was, you know, still kind of young and vibrant and stuff. And she's been running this little area for quite a long time. Her and her husband, her husband did most of the work. Like he did most of the gardening and taking care of the animals and stuff because her arthritis and her kidneys had just got so bad, but he died. He had a heart attack. So um yeah so it's just the, the ladies now and as y'all saw sydney is not finna help with nothing i cannot believe sydney <laughs> i cannot believe sydney i'm i'm disappointed in sydney child because that's ridiculous can you go ahead and put this away all right go ahead and put that away you're gonna clean up she like grandma i got everything i'm gonna go ahead and clean up you still look tired if you can go in there and lay down she like all right baby i'm gonna just go ahead and go to sleep for the night all right she like all right nana all right well we me and mom we got everything she like mm, your mother mm, if you say so so she gonna go to sleep <laughs> Oh God, mm, mm, mm. Sydney in here crying, child. Nana done put her little pajamas on. Now what's she doing? Listen, I mean, she wanna keep cleaning up. Go ahead and clean up. And you wanna keep cleaning up this, this shelter. I need you to, can you water this? No, it just don't need to be watered, okay. Do this need to be watered? Do anything need to be? Okay, you can harvest this stuff. You want to harvest all? All right, bet, 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 bet. Okay. Lord, she about to get the green thumb. That's it? Don't nothing else need to be harvested? Girl, harvest all the stuff, no? I see his carrots right here. What you talking? When I say, like, harvest all, I mean, like, all not just that box all right this is defeating the purpose of a harvest all no it's not do this the mushrooms please all right okay so she got some stuff uh we don't need the water or nothing all right okay so her granddad ended up putting like the planners up here they were 
like in the yard and stuff. But then it got too hard for him to bend over and get down there and stuff. So then he ended up making the planters and planting like some vegetables and stuff on the porch. So that grandma would still have access to um, her garden and stuff like that. So he was a real sweet man. That's why she was in love with him child. But you know, he ain't make it. He ain't make it. Uh, you want to put some of your pictures up here? Can you? Oh, you can. All right. Boom. I mean, he ain't got it. Listen. Okay, Penny, that's enough. Cause I think that's the same. You want to sell that, baby? Go ahead. Uh, what's these pictures? I don't even know what this is, y'all. Let me see. Let us see what this is. Who is this? Oh, this is from that party. This is what she was working with she in. And she had to take, um... Parties of the pictures. Mm, parties of the pictures. Pictures of a party. Oh, That's so sad. You want to sell it to publication? Mm, go ahead and do that, girl. Uh, do that. I mean, we ain't getting much. Uh, go ahead and sell all that, child. Listen, she did not think her life was going to be like this. She didn't think it was, she was going to be living back on the freaking farm. She thought she had escaped. All right, you want to put this little horsey up here? All right. And a little snow globe. Okay, girls. So that's the stuff she carried over here. All right, all right. Okay, she finna go to sleep herself. Um. Okay, this going to be your bed. Sign bed to Penny. So Penny, you go ahead and go to sleep. I'm going to be back, y'all, when it is time for them to go into the funeral. All right, y'all. So it is 124 in the morning. And Sydney sat behind, had the bright idea to get up. Remember she was browsing the web when everybody was going to sleep. And I was like, all right, go to the couch and stuff like that. I thought she was just browsing the web. You know, people just browse the web and do all that other good stuff. No, her butt was buying a little sheep and a little goat. Where the goat go? And a little goat. Child, I cannot. So not only does her grandma already got issues, with the arthritis, the kidney issue, and then Penny had to move from the city in with her grandma. The grandma need money. Grandma got a horse and two cows already. And then Sydney get the bright idea to purchase a freaking goat and a sheep. And she ain't finna be here to help take care of nothing. Now she energized. Child, she feel like she did something good. Wait until they wake up and see this ish. Now, the names was already generated. Well, this one was named Mocha. And then, because he a black goat, I just named him Espresso. And then this one is the um, little sheep. And her name is Lily. I just did the, you know how I'd say name or whatever. So that's what I did, child. I ain't, I ain't come up with nothing. I wasn't that creative. I just came up with Espresso. Um, <laughs> only because it came up with Mocha first. <laughs> But yeah, I cannot believe Sydney and freaking brought a dang, um, yeah, let me disable this dishwashing child because I can tell if they come out here and freaking dishwash, I'm going to smack them. Now, wait, till, get your behind in here. Go to sleep. Go to sleep because that's what I told you to do. And you want to freaking order or buy some freaking, um, uh-oh. What's going on? Oh. Grandma, I know you ain't got all your sleep. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. But sure, excuse the hell out of me. All right. Um, Listen, I thought she was still going to be tired. She going to get in here and make a little breakfast. Because you know, grandma's be throwing down. Down, down, baby. Okay, so she going to make the pancakes. Oh, we got a little discount because we got some milk. Maybe I should get her some chicken. Now, listen. I ain't trying to make things hard on Penny, but if we can get free eggs, is this a, um, oh, okay. Child, I was like, do she got a hospital gown? <laughs> I look 
like a hospital gown from the back, y'all. I'm like, did I put a house, hospital gown on grandma? Where is she going? Look, she like, uh-uh. She ain't finna cuss me out. Let me come up in here and let me play with these animals. Sydney, you need to tell your mama what you did now. You need to come in here and tell your mama what you did. Tell her you brought some more animals. Join the cooking. Wash your hands first. Can you wash your hands? Because I don't want you... Yeah, wash your hands. Well, never mind. By the time you wash your hands, she been to finish the damn meal. But anyway, come in here and wash your hands. Grandma over here throwing down. Oh! Oh, I was about to say, she like, hey, ma, how you doing? She like, mm, good morning, baby. What you was doing out there with them, them animals this early? She like, oh, I just went out there, you know, um, I was tending to the sheep and the goat. and so Sheep and the goat? What, 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 what sheep and a goat? She like, um, so I had brought some animals and stuff like that. And, um, ah! No, she didn't. That's some nasty shit. She hearing them fussing. She getting up. Lord. She like, what you mean sheep and goat? Now I ain't had no goddamn sheep, but I know I'm old and everything, but what the hell? What mod is doing that? I know you ain't talking about no dog. Girl, we don't need no dog on here. You done already brought some damn sheep and goat. We don't need that extra shit. Now, who's going to take care of that? Uh-oh. Y'all, let me see because my game acting weird. All right, y'all. So, I am back. My freaking game had freaking crashed on me. So, I don't even know what I was doing before. I just had to, like, restart the whole freaking thing repair it then restart and here we are but i think she was telling her mama about some animals or something like that so she's telling her mom like she just brought in a goat and a sheep yeah a goat and a sheep and she like what you done brought some goat and sheep now how the hell we gonna take care of that sydney you're not even gonna be here to help take care of this shit and you're gonna at least this don't make no sense sydney this don't make no sense so she met with sydney i think she said she wanted to adopt a cat or something too as my dang gang was crashing <laughs> patricia had said she wanted to adopt a cat um She's having these uncontrollable emotions. I think we saw that before. And competent cook. Competency in the kitchen has filled Patricia with confidence. Well, maybe not filled. Splash. Let's say, yes, yeah, splash. I just remember her dropping that freaking pancake on the floor and then picking it back up. Like, just trifling. But her, they all finna eat, child. They all finna eat. She met her neighbors. Is they on the lot? Look at this freaking cow. What do child this cow just refuses to eat the grass that's inside the dang pen. I don't understand why this cow wanna be difficult. She like, I cannot. Did you hear that your mother brought some damn sheep and goats? She like, Mom, why would you buy that? Like, what? She like, well, I couldn't sleep and you know, I just wanted to surprise mom with a little little extra something you know so that's what i you know that's what i decided to do and she's just like oh my god like this is ridiculous like why would you do that she like why would you do that like that's crazy now it's more animals for us to take care of because you're not even gonna be here she like well i'm gonna come by from time to time and help y'all how thought-provoking. Sydney seemed to enjoy that conversation with Penny, especially when they explored more serious thought-provoking topics. A good conversation becomes great once, I guess so. She likes deep conversations. <sighs> Granny looks like, I cannot. This is my child. This is my child. Mm, mm, mm. After they eat, they finna go to this um, funeral home, the little rabbit hole. Hopefully, she can invite them now. All right, but. Okay. Wait a minute. What's that funeral service? She like, all right, y'all know we got the funeral service. She like, oh, dang. Why so early, Grandma? Listen, that's the time they had. That's the time they had. Come on, Sydney. I don't know why I popped up there twice. Sit. Sydney, they waiting on you. Y'all, now she's taking all day to eat. Girl, I'm dead. 
you gonna go to the funeral? Like, did you not like your father? <laughs> she like, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my goodness. All right, so she off at the funeral, child. What is Dipsy doing? Dipsy, what is you? What's wrong, Dipsy? You okay? Oh, you excellent. You good. You good. You good. Everybody good. Uh, fine. Happiness. Okay. What did I say? Okay. Attention. Okay. We gonna get you some more attention when they get back. It's raining again. God dang. It's a rainy winter. And then that one doing okay. All right. Well, this is Penny's new life, y'all. This is Penny's new life. I'm trying to wait till they come back so I can send Sydney's behind home, child. Um, because Sydney need to hurry up and go. Oh, Penny ain't even quit her job. <gasps> Y'all, Penny ain't even quit her job yet. Maybe she gonna try to do... I don't, mm -mm. I don't know how she gonna do both. She cannot. Girl, she gotta quit her job. That's crazy. She ain't even quit. And she didn't call Sam and told Sam she was out, but she didn't quit yet. Okay, y'all, so they are back from the firm. Um, and grandma, of course, is very sad. Patricia is grateful for the chance to have been able to mourn, celebrate, and share memories of a loved one surrounded by others who cared for them as she did. And she was missing her horse. And I think that's all women. What was this one? A quiet place. Patricia feels so stressed and overloaded by emotions and stimuli. She just needs a few moments of quiet space. What? Sydney and Patricia. Y'all made up. So I guess like, you know, the funeral get, made her change her mind, child. Made her change her mind. She like, you my only daughter. That's my only grandchild. So listen, I forgive you. And I know you just lost your father and you just talking crazy. So I forgive you. Let's go ahead and hug it out, baby. Let's go ahead and hug it out. I love you. All right. And I guess since she gave her that damn goat and sheep, more work, but whatever, whatever child, whatever. I mean, it's going to be a whole journey because Sydney is not about to be here to help uh, Penny nor her grandmama take care of all these animals. But I guess grandma, grandma Patricia said, listen, I forgive you. You my child and I love you. Um, so yeah, we just gonna let them hash it out. I want her. Oh, Yeah, so she's feeling the same way, paying respect. Sydney is glad to have been able to attend the service and say goodbye one last time. So yeah, so she came, she had to come to Jesus moments too. And <laughs> just had to probably apologize to her mom for acting crazy. And, you know, not being there for her when she needed her. Like, Sydney was just trying to make it all about her. So, I'm going to go ahead and take Sydney out of the family. I just went past Stitch. Uh, remove from family. Hopefully, I just ain't make her homeless. If I did, I'll give her a house job. Um, and Penny is feeling the same way, so... Penny, what you finna do, boo? Not go to work. What work you finna go to, Penny? Girl, you need to go ahead and... Uh, 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 uh. There you go. You need to go ahead and... uh. And why you keep putting this outfit on that you ain't got no shoes on? Listen, I guess she, she said I'm in the country, girl. Oh, Aw, Penny. Listen to Dipsy Doodle. Oh, this is too cute, y'all. And this is actually a very good spot to end this episode of Growing Pains. Oh, Penny is now back in the country. She is no longer our city girl. She has moved right back to the country. And this is where she is going to be at, child. Um, I might even actually take Penny out of the Growing Pains saga and... I don't know. Should I make her own LP? I don't, I don't, I don't know, y'all. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Since I just be kind of focused on growing pains with Raina and Lee and Summer. And any one more girl with our growing pain saga or just them three? 
Oh, no, you know, it was four of them, but Penny Lee and Summer are together now. I'm like, wait a minute, it was four girls. But Penny, not Penny, Lee and Summer are now a couple, so it's just like three girls. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have Penny in her own little LP and just leave Growing Pains to Raina and Lee and Summer. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel. But um, in the meantime, in between time, if y'all like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful week. And until next time, y'all, peace.